Hello, everyone. Here is the official specific information about the transformation project. You want to start with at least four photographs that are not paintings, not drawings, but actual photographs of things and photos that are unaltered to begin with, at least four. I would keep yourself open to adding more, taking some away, but you'll need at least four in the finished product. You want to save the unaltered version of each photo and include those when you email your finished project so we can see how you altered the photos, what parts you selected, what parts you removed, etc. Use the selection tools, filters, color adjustment, uh, etc., to modify and remove parts of the photos. That would be on GIMP and or Krita. Then combine the photographic elements, use blending, digital painting, and additional filters and adjustments to complete the transformation. And this part is important to get that um, image that you're making to look believable and lifelike. So experiment, try lots of variations. There's plenty of time. When you're all finished, email the completed project as a Krita file or GIMP file, whichever one you finish the project in, and also as a PNG and the original photographs. So now we're gonna look at a few examples of, um, of this work. Uh, that students have done in previous classes. And then I'm going to talk specifically about the magic wand, the fuzzy selection tool in GIMP. Okay. These uh, images here, a lot of them are made using photographs that students took out in Hanover's campus. This one is uh, the student opted to do a landscape rather than a self-portrait transformation. Lots of work with colors and layers and different photographic elements. Here's one where the student was able to use the bark of a tree and apply it to uh, his face here. Another one with elements from the natural world along with wings and other things. This one used a lot of different photographic elements, the eyes, the necklace, uh, a lot of things in the background, the ears, and then a lot of uh, blending and digital painting. And the same with this one, the top of his head was hand painted to look like it. he was uh, smooth and had no hair. And then the fins and the nose and different things were added in and the background is several different uh, several different photographic elements collaged together along with some hand paint. 